Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. France. National search for the lost dauphin once upon a time. In the bustling city of Paris, France was in turmoil. A decade after the French Revolution had ended, peace was still elusive. The monarchy had been abolished, and a new democratic government was struggling to hold its grip on power. The reigning president of France at that time, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, knew that his hold on power was tenuous. He longed for a symbol to unite the divided nation and believed he had found it in an old legend, the Lost Dauphin. The story of the Lost Dauphin revolved around Louis XVII, son of King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette, who supposedly died as a child during the Revolution while imprisoned. However, rumors persisted that he escaped prison and lived incognito among ordinary French citizens. Inspired by this tale, President Bonaparte initiated a national search to find any descendants of this lost prince, hoping their existence would inspire unity among his people by reminding them of their shared history. This national search ignited intrigue across all strata in France, from peasants hoping for royal blood within them to aristocrats claiming false ties with royalty to strengthen their political influence. It led historians digging through archives, genealogists tracing lineage, detectives chasing clues, every citizen turning detective overnight. In Lyon, there lived an unassuming librarian named Charles Moreau, who also got caught up in this fervor. Charles was an orphan with no knowledge about his lineage, but felt strangely connected with this quest for finding the lost dauphin's descendants. Charles decided to delve into his past using resources at hand historical records stored within libraries' vaults. As he dug deeper into documents about local families during revolutionary times, uncovering secrets buried deep within centuries-old texts, evidence began pointing towards him being related directly to the lost prince. This shocking revelation swept Charles into a whirlwind of political intrigue and danger. Suddenly, he was pursued by powerful people with vested interests those who wanted to exploit his newfound lineage for their gain and others who feared the return of monarchy. The story took dramatic turns as Charles navigated through these challenges, his courage tested at every step. He found unexpected allies in a young journalist, Marie, and an old historian, Professor Leclerc. They helped him unveil hidden truths about France's history that not only validated his lineage, but also revealed how manipulative powers had distorted history for their benefits. In the end, Charles chose not to use his royal bloodline as 